Hello guys, Zerger here. Right, so this is my colony. Um, I've gotten into mine colonies recently. It's pretty cool, but it's, um, I don't know if it's gotten corrupt or whatever the case might be, but I have massive lag every four or five seconds and I only have 25 colonists, so that is not the case. So what I'll be doing in this video is I'll be deconstructing this entire colony and uh, my base as well. I'll be putting all, all that in a mix of backpacks and ME hard drives in my base and then I'll basically take them to a new world is what I'll be doing. Now the key thing here is uh, that you need to know is once you've upgraded your buildings to level 5 uh, you can then deconstruct them and then once you've obviously deconstructed them you can pick up that workstation um, and that level 5 you can put that down anywhere and you can rebuild that building to a level 5 again straight away. So that's my plan. I'm upgrading all the buildings I want, especially the couriers, you know, the barracks, the guard towers, all that good stuff. The builders, the first thing is builders, and my level 5 warehouse, all, all of that, and the level 5 houses. So, I'll be going through this place and upgrading them all to level 5, deconstructing them, and towards the end I'll pick up those workstations, keep them in my inventory, right. which is level And then from there I'll put all that junk in my backpack and my ME hard drives and mix of them with all of the, you know, the resources that go with them and then I'll be taking that to a new world with me to hopefully start lag free again. <laughs> like I said, uh, yeah, I'll be deconstructing this entire place and uh, yeah, the structures need to be level 5 so uh, I'll just be going through them all and checking that the ones I really want all go up to level 5. I'm going to just kind of abandon my uh, cow hand and you know the uh, what do you call him, the shepherd guy and all those dudes, I don't really want them. I'll be taking my uh, library up to level 5 because in the new world I would like, you know, to get new guys and instantly start working on their intelligence. So library level 5, uh, everything else, yeah, pretty much just gonna take it and this, you know, this food stall isn't you know, that, uh, <laughs> that that important to me. Uh, university, yeah, definitely want that level 5, um, yeah, a couple of, uh, obviously a lot of them you want them level 5. Um, anyway. So I'm just going to go through them one by one, da da, take them all up to level 5. This whole process, by the way, um, is going to take a long time for you guys who do Minecronics as well. The builders are extremely slow, so this takes a very, very long time. This video here, the footage, um, this is a couple of days worth, from maybe more closer to a week, of me AFKing, upgrading buildings, AFKing, trying to get them to do the work. Um, one Quick tip, maybe um, you guys will see it later actually in the video as well. When the builders deconstruct the guard towers, they kind of get stuck, um, but just kind of watch them as in where they're looking. They want to stand in a specific position when deconstructing the guard tower. Um, uh, if they don't, if they're unable to get there, um, which which they are, you just need to build a little path, a couple some stairs for them to get there, uh, uh, so they can get to that specific spot. And uh, and then only will they continue deconstructing it, even if all the other blocks are removed for whatever reason. I don't know. They glitch out a bit. Um, yeah. Uh, fun thing about this barracks as well, the guard towers, well not fun, it's actually pretty uh, pretty crap. Um, you can't deconstruct these barracks towers, even though they're level 5, it's really annoying. I went through the effort of upgrading them all to level 5, and then you can't take them with you, you can't deconstruct them. Very annoying. Uh, right, so I'm gonna basically give you guys a little mo uh, montage video here with some music, otherwise it'll be quite boring. Um, of me deconstructing this, um, basically um, all you do is you just tell the builders to deconstruct, you know, you know, whatever building. You just watch which building they start with and you take your tools and you go help them break those blocks because you're a lot faster than they are and I mean a lot faster, like they, I don't know, they will take say a full day or something maybe to break down a building which is ridiculous, um, if not more. Uh, and then, okay, well I might be exaggerating, but it depends on the level of your builder. Um, but if you just take your tools and you go help them. Uh, you could probably help them break down a barracks in, I don't know, half an hour or whatever. Which, it, it would take them half an actual day. Like, it'll take them hours to do that themselves. And, uh, yeah, so here you guys get a nice view of my, uh, my little colony. And that's what I'll be tearing down. That on the left-hand side with that purple tree there, that archwood tree, that is my base. I'll show you guys that later on in the video. I'll be tearing down everything and, yeah, taking it all with me. Alright, I'll start rolling the music for you guys. For those of you who don't want to watch me tear down everything, just skip ahead, I'll put some tags or something, you know, you can skip over that part. And then I'll get to the part of tearing down my base, um, storing everything in the inventory, and, um, you know, all that good stuff. Get to the technical stuff, you know, of the, the actual files you need to copy over when creating your new world. 
Uh, one more thing probably um, I need to mention that you obviously need to uh, do this in a specific order. So like, uh, you know, you can't go doing your warehouse first, obviously. Um, you need to leave one level five house at least, you know, so your, your, your couple of builders, you know, and you can assign them to stay in that house. Uh, assign your builders and the courier in there, they are the most important ones. Um, you just leave them so you can tear down all the other houses that the other guys live in who aren't essential to tearing down things But you need to leave you know one house standing and your builder or two builders and of course the warehouse So you can tear down everything and then you basically tear down your warehouse last and you also need to transfer it obviously the inventory It's um, it's very boring, but you need to transfer all the inventory, you know uh, piece by piece shelf by shelf to your uh, ME system um, only later on I, I noticed though that um, they can actually deconstruct their own huts and this this is for all buildings as long as you just leave the workstation there um, it still functions as a building and they can continue working by the way <laughs> system all right and away we go So I'ma light it up, just grab a cigarette, smoke till it's in my head, take it all away. Yeah, I'ma light it up, just grab a cigarette, smoke till it's in my head, take the pain away.
frozen Wanna be a part of something more than this I've lost control of it Oh And the stars reminds me of you Oh, oh, oh You left me with scars But I know that one day You'll see it through Can I be your star tonight? You fill my soul with light the day we met I don't wanna leave your side, no Have me by your side when the sun sets I hope you'll still want me, I hope you'll still need me A million years from now The seasons are changing, the nights ever fading It's time we left the ground Sleep for an eternity Sail across the lights beyond the sky I'll be with you eternally Adding all your love and keeps me high Keeps me high
there's no one else who loves me like you used to some days i'm not myself there's no one i can turn to and i know all the feelings that we shared are in the past mm -hmm. and i know your relationships are never meant to last mm -hmm. they might take some time but i'll be all right
When you can't touch the ground And your head is underwater I would dive in for you Before you drown And you're asking me why Oh, life's a roller coaster I cannot answer that But I'll help We're just people, we're just people Sometimes it's hard, sometimes we get it wrong
Operator, your automated AI. Loading system version 87A0. Initialize data. All systems ready. I am now online. Activate track one. Check. Baseline check. All systems ready.
Can I be your star tonight? You fill my soul with light the day we met. I don't wanna leave your side, no. Have me by your side when the sun sets. I hope you'll still want me. I hope you'll still need me a million years from now. The seasons are changing, the nights ever fading. It's time. There we go, folks. That is that. That is my entire colony in my backpack. Well, all the level five buildings, of course. Won't be taking out the actual people with me. But yeah. So uh, once we take this town hall, that's everything. And that's it. There's no longer a colony here. I mean, technically there is, because it's still registered with the end of the game. But uh, that's everything. That took absolutely ages, by the way, and uh, as you guys saw in the video, the guard tower is a problem, they get stuck, and uh, they don't know what to do. <laughs> so yeah, now all that's left is to take these little bits, this is my personal little crafting spot, and these things are taking ages to break, for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, we'll take these with, and then we'll start breaking up my base, and Popping all that in the... Oh, that's a bit of lag as well. That's proper lag as well. That's server lag. Because <laughs> that block definitely broke. Wow. Look at that delay, huh? Anyway. So these blocks take an absolutely ages to uh, to break, as you can see. But I'll grab all this stuff here with me and... Uh, um, yeah, keep them in my backpack. Also, um, be sure to not take one of the level... You know, if you have like level 1, 2 buildings in between... Um, don't take them with, like, kind of discard them is what I've done. Because, like, they won't stack in the inventory, like these ones you see there. But you don't know which is which there. Um, so, like you says, a level 5 one in between there and a level 2 one, you won't know which is which. They won't stack. A anyway, just to avoid confusion, especially if you have, like, a big colony as well. That's all, uh, that's all I'm saying. And there we go, as you can see. I'm sure you guys have noticed, you know, it might be hard to see with the, uh, you know, this, the increase in speed. But uh, you can see that lag every 4 to 5 seconds, that's what's driving me absolutely crazy. And uh, you can also see loads of uh, homeless people around, which I have created, obviously, by destroying all the houses and such. But yeah, it's quite nice just having a look at uh, the remnants of, <laughs> of what's left after I've uh, packed, up, uh, packed up camp, I suppose. The annoying thing is I can't take these airships with me because uh, they like loot drops or whatever. Like uh, I found a couple of them in dungeons and stuff, so I'll have to go look for some more of them before I can, you know, decorate around. Um, yeah, they're quite cool. So, so now I'm just going to base here and I'm gonna try and keep these separate because if I just put them on the hard drives like everything else, um, they might be hard to find. Um, so I'm just gonna put them in their own little backpack. And I'll try and keep my stuff separate that way. So I'll end up with two backpacks on me. 
Um, yeah, one of which will, you know, obviously the upgrade one, so yeah, have money on the inventory space, the diamond backpack, or maybe in the gold one. And uh, I'll just try and keep those huts separate and all the disk drives separate as well. And uh, yeah, keep myself some backup power as well, because otherwise I'll just lock myself out of my Emmy system. Funny enough, yeah, you won't see it in this video, but I did actually lock myself out of the Emmy system because I started to disassemble my base. And so I destroyed my power generators and, uh, well, I left two, which I thought was enough of my coal generators, and uh, they weren't enough. So I locked myself out of my memory system and I had to <laughs> make myself some, you know, some coal generators again so that I can continue actually accessing my items. And uh, so there we are, there's the backpack. Bam. And there we go, look at that. My entire colony, all of my progress that I made throughout these weeks of playing, in one single backpack. That is depressing. Level 5 buildings, all in one tiny little backpack. Um, the colonists themselves, obviously, um, yeah, you know, they're a different story. Their intelligence level and their work experience and all that. But, uh, yeah, they're stru still, still, they're still pretty slow, by the way. If you do increase their intelligence, they stay really slow. Like, especially the builders. They, yeah, you know, um, if you Google it, they say they get faster. Breaking blocks and stuff, they don't get much faster. Um, <laughs> really annoying. So, uh, yeah, I invested quite a lot of time in, you know, um, upping their their levels and, and their, their job efficiency and all that, and it didn't seem to make a massive difference. There we go. Boink, boink. Emptying my last hard drive yet again. This is my tiny little Emmy system. And uh, I'll be packing this up next, because the only thing I need to do now is um, basically um, set up this whole basement, like I said. And get all that on the uh, ME system as well.
That is my base packed up. I'm gonna give you guys just a quick look as to what it is. I'm gonna leave all these lanterns because they're easy, easy to make. But yeah, look at this. How depressing is this? My beautiful base probably sent, I don't know, 
days decorating it. <laughs> you know, because it's fun. But yeah, it's just a horrible hole now. Um, yeah. Quite sad, really, looking at it all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is the tour. Uh, yeah. As you can see, all packed up. Um, well, you guys saw me put the bees and all that in there. Broke down the enemy system, everything, that's all in my backpack. I'll show you guys what it looks like in a sec. There we go, look, there's all the hard drives, all of my stuff, my entire base and colony in a backpack. Yep. Cool, in it? <laughs> Uh, that's my normal backpack. So here I've got some batteries in. What I've done is I've got my normal backpack with you know my survival stuff in, and the second backpack with all the base stuff in. And I've got a couple of um, what you might call it um, batteries in their cells, which I've broken down. So they've got power on them, so I'll be able to start up the Emmy system on the new server. So I can just get a good spot. Um, I'll have to. This is probably the last I'll be able to, well, I'm not, no longer able to charge my backpack, so I'll have to try and run around as best I can on the other, on the other side, you know, in the new world. But, um, yeah, I have to find a nice spot, a beautiful spot, so I can try and do this all again. And, uh, oh, this is quite nice. One final look at, uh, my base. Uh, those little sparkly things in the water there, by the way, they come from the ever bright, um, dimension, by the way. Um, yeah, from blue skies. Um, so yeah, I'll probably go get some more of them and decorate some more, and, uh, yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place. An ice mountain in the background. Such a nice view. <laughs> but, uh, all things come to an end, I suppose. And the lag we just made it, yeah, just made it unbearable. So, time to move. I think when I do the new base again, I'll probably keep it separate, my base, from my colony. Because I've learned my lesson, just in case it happens again, I don't want to do that again. So, yeah, that is this. Goodbye, old world. Okay, so as you can see there is the world file which I copied a little bit already um, But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new world now for us to Make our own So yeah, let's just go ahead single-player world create a new world blah 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 I like hard so I'm gonna do that and away we go And there we go Generating our new home with any luck. I just have a look what it is. You can do this a couple of times, by the way. If you don't like your spawn, depending on how picky you are. I've actually done this three times already. Um, yeah, I kind of accidentally deleted the second one, which was pretty cool. Um, I spawned in a savanna like region, which was also bordering a, like um, a North Pole type region, like an icy mountains type thing as well. So that was actually pretty cool. And then in my haste trying to figure out these files, I deleted it. Whoops. Um, anyway, so yeah. <laughs> so that happened. But in any case, uh, so yeah. For now, just creating a new world. And we'll see in a moment what this looks like. And, uh, well, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, I guess. <laughs> we'll just have to wait for this to do its thing. Okay, finally we're there, I hope. Let's see what we got. Show me what you got. Did you crash on me? I haven't got a bad PC either, you know. <laughs> Mod packs are killer. But they're so fun. <laughs> finally. Here we go. Uh, okay. I don't know what this book is in my hands. Probably some senior update. What? Not carbotic. Okay, cool. Probably some new mods that they've added since. Right. So we still got uber lag because it's range generating. But at least we are in the new world. Doesn't seem too bad. Let's have a look around. Well, I might just halt for a second. It's uh, still generating. I do like playing on 14 chunks, at least. You know, uh, I normally switch it up so all the way to 20 something when playing um, 
vanilla Minecraft. But I can't do that in modern ones, so uh, yeah, I'm on 14. So yeah, it does um, make my tla train, train, my train load a bit longer than usual. But in any case, looks like we're on the roll. Let's have a look. Looks like there's some oil we got there. Not sure what to use that for. Probably some kind of power. Or I might add some mods later. But yeah, so there we have oil. Should we wish to do something with oil? I'm not sure there's a bit of a glitch on the map here. Because that shows ice. And I don't see ice there. Am I looking in the right direction? I'm trying to check which direction I'm looking. Yeah, that's a bit weird. I think feel like the, the, the terrain generation on this mod pack um, isn't quite there yet. I'm not sure, but... Uh, just gonna run in that direction and see if I do actually. Oh, look, there's a little house. Just gonna run in that direction and see what I see. If there is actually any snow, but there is some kind of slime thing. So, yeah, it doesn't look like a bad world. Probably won't build my base right here. Uh, probably run around a little. And check for some, you know, better places. Yeah, see, the, the ice is disappearing as we go. That's a bit weird. It's a bit of a visual bug on the map, I see. Just gonna swim over there and see what I see. Swim, 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 swim. swim. Yeah, not looking bad, not looking bad. And we have a pirate ship, I suppose. Probably one of those pillager ones. Won't be doing that anytime soon because they would butcher my ass. Um, when I come back with my imported loot, I probably will though. But uh, for now, I am weak as a baby. Some more oil. Woo! Got a slime island up in the air. Oh, that's really nice. Some of those blue slime guys. Oh, that is cool. So I will have no shortage in slime. Should I need it? I mean, I don't know what I would need it for at the moment. But yeah, it's always good to have slime. Okay, cool. This this world looks solid. I'm just going to swim back. And I'm also keeping an eye on my coordinates, by the way. Um, because obviously you want to be... Uh, like Basically, I want to try and spawn right here. So in your... Uh, in the other worlds, just try and get to the coordinates that you have in your new world, by the way, and try and log out from these coordinates. Um, yeah, I think I probably say this twice now, because I, I think I might have added this in uh, another part of this video. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm just keeping an eye on the coordinates. Swimming back, this is cool, it's a new world, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't have random weird chunky spawns, because I, you know, and some of them spawn really weird, so it always, you know, it makes me feel unsafe if I see, like, just these sheer cliffs of, like, chunks that spawn differently, you know, like a, a biome that just suddenly ends for no reason. <laughs> but yeah, this looks good. I'm gonna sit here. This looks, yeah, this is a safe spot. Disconnect here, probably. And then uh, come back. Hopefully, we'll get all of our shit. Alright, guys. So, let's get to the more techy stuff. So, uh, what you'll need to do this is, uh, whether you're playing on a server or single player world, is you'll need a copy of that world file or save, basically. So, if you have, you know, if you got in touch with your uh, server admin or whoever the person is that, you know, has access to the server, they would have sent you a world file which will look something like this. This will be the name of, you know, the world that you're playing on. So, it looks something like this here. Now this world file here, this is essentially the name of the world which you would be creating in single player. So just ignore all the other stuff and go straight for this. And you'll see, that's what that looks like. There we go. Now then, so once you have this, we just need to go to your instance where this is saved. If you're doing forge, you know, just go here. Open folder, blah, blah, blah. You'll find it here. And there we go. Let's try and align this a bit better up. Right, so here we go. This is, um, you know, all the mod 7. And inside saves here, this will be where your worlds go. So under saves there, I've got a single player one called Zerkis. So which is there. And so you just need to copy this over to there. So basically, as soon as you open this up here, you see this single player world and this uh, stuff starts looking familiar here. So yeah, that's what you need to do. So in essence, this folder exactly as it is, you just copy this over or extract it over into the saves and that becomes its own new world, which you'll be able to launch in single player. So we'll do that next and then we'll go from there. Alright, so here we are and there's the two files you can see. See Xerxes, my single player world, which is the one I've created, uh, the new one, which I would like to be my new world. 
and just world, which is the you know current server world, which I want to get rid of. Um, which is horribly, I wouldn't say horribly, but still corrupted and such. So I'm just gonna go in there um, to basically see where I spawn, see I have the items and stuff that I want, and I suggest you do this as well because there's two different places where Minecraft saves your player data normally. Um, one will call be called level.dat, um, it's a file called level.dat, you'll see it. it's one of the ones we'll copy over. The other one will go in your player data, which will have a long like hash name to it, um, I think it's called your unique user ID. But you'll see that in, well, in a moment later on when we do the copying. For now, as you can see, I'm just continuing talking to try and divert your attention away from the fact that this is killing my PC. So. I'm gonna continue talking and uh, yeah so as soon as this launches we we'll, should hopefully um, spawn in the last location we, we were um, you know and we'll have the items on us uh, because we're launching this essentially uh, for a, a, in a single player world for the first time it should collect our um, inventory and items from that player data file and automatically copy that over to the level .dat file which you'll see directly within the saves and that is where your single player data gets saved. Player data folder is where your multiplayer data gets saved. Now then, let's have a look here. One, well, once, um, one year, I suppose, when this opens up. Uh, then we'll just see all our stuff is in there, so they'll know it's all good, and they'll be able to save and exit just to make sure that level .dat file saves with the player data inside of it, which will essentially become our single player save file. If you are, you know, just trying to copy your data over to a new multiplayer world, by the way, um, you can just copy the player data of a folder. That should be all you need, really. It's much, much easier if you have a new server running than trying to take your um, information like I am and, and implement that in a single player world so I can play, you know, without needing access to a server. And here we go, all looks good, this is where I last left, in my little cave, let's just have a look, yeah, I still got charge, items in the backpack, let's check the other backpack, there we go, all the hard drives in there, and nope, not that one, let's try and check the other one, there we go, this is where I put my power and stuff, so I can power the Emmy again once I'm in the new world, okay, cool, so that all checks out, now just save and quit, so that that's that data saves to the level dot that file, um, well, yeah, that's about it. And then we'll continue with the rest of this. And here we go. On the left is the world file, you know, from the server. On the right hand side is my um, saves within all the mod 7. So the, full, we, the file we want is player data and the level dot that. Those two files is where your information is kept. So we copy that over to the new single player world, which is mine called Xerxes. Paste them in there. Replace them all. Once again, you don't need to uh, do anything more than the player data file and if you're in multiplayer, you know, if you have a server. And then also within the data file, very important here, this is where our inventory is kept. Because we're using um, the backpacks, we go for the sophisticated backpacks. That is where our inventory is saved from that mod. And then also the hard, the, um, the Emmy hard disks from um, you know, the Emmy system, they're saved in that file there as well, refined storage. So we need to bring them over and paste them in here in the new data file because otherwise there would be nothing in there. So that is where all of our stuff is saved between the backpacks and those hard drives. So that is pretty much everything we have now. And that should be everything. It took me a while, by the way, to find where it saves them. So uh, <laughs> yeah, you're, uh, you're welcome. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I finally found, uh, and as you can see, the world name has now changed because we replaced that, uh, that level of that file. So I just change that back to my single player world. I want it to be known as that name. And now let's see if we load in to that single player world. Um, now with that level dot that file and the player data in there and our, you know, the sophisticated backpacks um, and what's the other one? Integrated storage. Yeah, those ones with, with all four of those. Um, by the way, if you guys, um, I do ramble a bit. So if you guys, um, didn't see that just go back and pause just check the name of those files um, but with those copied over now that data and that inventory is now saved to our character and it should be in this single player world which should 
touch wood, um, come with us so that we can now, you know, just go build a new colony whenever we like. So we'll see what happens in a moment. Once this game loads, one year again. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's have a look. This is what happens when you record while you're uh, <laughs> while you're launching things. But uh, then again, it is a pretty big mod pack, so hey ho, you know. <laughs> so let's have a look. Let's give it uh, let's give it some time to load us into this new single player world, and then we'll have all of our stuff in this brand new world, just ripe for opportunity. Finally, loading the terrain. By the way, um, just so that you guys know, if you if you can, um, try and log out on the same coordinates uh, when you create a new world. So when you create your new world, you know, you know blah blah blah, start a new game, you spawn in a random place. Check your coordinates there, and then on the uh, the server world, when you do launch that in single player. Try and get to those coordinates, and then save and quit there. That that would just make it easier because you'll you'll spawn in a random location. Like you'll spawn at those same coordinates still, you know, within the new world. And I quite like to spawn where you know where I spawned within the single player world. So yeah, that's what I did. I just loaded that world file up and then flew all the way to whatever it was close to zero somewhere. You know where world spawn normally is, and then I popped uh, basically back in here where I created this world. So you'll see now I should pop up fairly close to uh, World Spawn, which is where I, you know, had a look at this new world. So any moment now, we'll just see a brand new lag free world. There we go, looks good. And, ah, oh, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. That's because my coordinates were lower where I was last time, and here there are. <laughs> there's obviously something else there. So my uh, once again, my Y coordinates spawned me underground. So if you can, you know, try and spawn a little bit higher up. If you guys don't want to awaken to this, and let's try and get up there. And there we go. Looks like we're free. And uh, yep, I have a backpack. And here I am in a new world. And it looks like I still have all of my inventory, which is brilliant. Got a bit of lag spike there, but yes, it's because you know the trains generating around me, um, surround me, around me. But look at that, brand new world, just me here, nothing generated. Now we just have to check. Look there, there's all the good stuff in my backpack. Let's go through them. There we go. Uh, there's the power cells. They still have charge on them. Everything. Now let's have a look, because I'm curious. So yeah, they, they, they still got the power on them. Now I need to put down this Emmy system just to check that it fully worked to make sure that the, you know the data came with that's on the hard drive. So I'm gonna reconstruct my Emmy system quickly before I can claim victory, and you guys can feel assured that this two-hour-long tutorial does actually work. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's quickly go ahead and put down this Emmy system. I'm just trying to see where is the uh, what you call it. Way to put the hard drives in. I just can't see it. Might be another backpack. Disk drive, I think it's called, isn't it? Got just about everything here that I need. It has to be in here. I thought I kept everything together. I'm probably just blind. Probably right in front of me. So loads of coal generators. And that, there it is. Never mind. I'm blind. Cool. This is all we need to put up a temporary Emmy system and just quickly have a look. All our items are still in there, including you know the bees, all the good stuff that came from the other server. There we go, some energy cell. I think I need a wrench to right click it. There we go, output, cool. M E cable. Uh, I should probably sleep pretty soon. Don't want a creeper exploding. <laughs> oh god, that would suck. I would. I do not want a creeper exploding this Emmy system just as I get into the new world. <laughs> anyway, there we go. The power acceptor. There's our power cell, which of course the Emmy system needs to get power. Need to put on the controller next. There we go. Now that can connect to the drive. 
Now the drive can get a panel on, so you can see what's inside of it. But I'm gonna just go to sleep first. And as you can see, I'm sleeping in a bed of flames. This backpack always does this. It really wastes my fuel. And I don't have a way to recharge it now. Now I put our panel on. Now put, let's put some hard drives in there and give this baby a test. There we go. There are items. Would you believe? Let's see, I'm gonna put some more in, I think. Just grab a couple more. And that seems like it's not actually charging the energy cell. Oh, right, it's because, yeah, the, the, the cable can't, can't connect to an energy source. It needs to be a different power cable. But anyway, that's, I don't need to do that now. I can at least see. Now let's have a look. Let's grab some other hard drives. Let's have a good look at some of the stuff that came with us. There we go. Isn't that sexy? Look at all that good stuff. And here's all the hard drives. And there's all of our level 5 buildings. There we go, guys. Look at that. We're in a new world. <laughs> ah, well, yeah. Thanks for, for watching, guys. I hope uh, if you guys had a colony that uh, this solved your issue. And, uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And good luck with your new colony and your new world. This is Zerger saying there's a creeper behind you. <laughs> you take care.